Welcome to the Steam Smart Podcast, the podcast that's all about Steam, the blockchain-based social media platform that's taking over the world. Uh, with me today is Steven Polsky at Sneaky Squirrel. Squirrel. What's up, guys? Today is a great day in crypto. And our guest today is Shetel Eilertsen, otherwise known as at Verstecken. Hello, hello, everyone. Hope you're having a great day. Awesome. Welcome, welcome for sticking. Real, real, uh, real exciting to have you on the show today. Um, and the uh, first thing we wanted to talk about with you, uh, talk about with you is Steemit etiquette, which I understand you have uh, some strong opinions about. What, what, what are your thoughts on, on etiquette on Steemit? What? I made a post about etiquette. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have to lead me in a little bit more on that question. Okay. Uh, Steven, you want to run with it? Yeah, yeah. So I, um, you know, I've been on the Steam Speak for a while. I'm always throwing a shout out for about your Steam Speak. Um, and you know, every once in a while, we'll uh, we'll see, we'll get involved with the people who are like, "Hey, check out my stuff," or "Oh my God, somebody just flagged my uh, flagged my post," and we're just like. Oh, no, no, no. You don't get to just use the oh, flag yeah. so willy-nilly, guys. And then, you know, we freaking dominate that person and just tear them up on, uh, on Steam. It's like, don't. You don't get to freaking just falsely use your flag. But, you know, we also – we'll also uh, – cho- oh, they flagged that appropriately. Okay. You know what? We're, we're not going to follow up with any action. So, you know, there is like this etiquette that goes on where what is considered flaggable, what isn't, and why do we um, go after people who just flag willy-nilly, you know? Well, why do we go after people who shoot uh, up a school also? I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> it's uh, you know abusive uh, behavior on steamit.com with uh, with people that are flagging uh, it's such a new platform it's such a new platform okay it's just been up a few few days really a few months you know but a few days like a skip of a second uh, you know a poop on the timeline of of all the time i mean it's, it's right. like just hatched out of the egg and it doesn't know anything about the future um, I joined Steemit for the one reason, and that was somebody stole my articles from stakepool.com and made money on them. Okay. I, I had to join Steemit because people were posting my songs about Bitcoin and trading and were making money on them, right? I, I am already up to here with followers from YouTube, from Twitter, from Facebook. I have fans. I have followers. I have people that send me emails weekly uh, just to tell me how much they love my stuff, you know? Like, right. I've been doing this for a while. Yeah, and you're an original content along. creator. Yeah, and then Steam it came along, and I noticed that pirates were making money off my content, right? And that's when I'm joining Steam. <laughs> okay. Okay. And that's when I'm realizing that uh, that uh, that Steam is uh, is a great platform uh, to be and and uh, be part of. So I, I realized that uh, for me to not get ripped off, I needed to publish first on Steam it, and then to the platform I would regularly post to. In my case, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, of course, uh, of course, the radio station. Tell them okay. to go and check out the latest video I made. You know about this or whatever. So, so uh, Steam it to me is brand new, and uh, and uh, I noticed when I joined Steam it uh, that uh, you know it was really easy for people to make money. You know, it was like people were making thousands and thousands <laughs> of Steam for basically taking a picture of their uh, neighbor's garbage can. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not far off from the truth there, you know? That's the sad part. Right, and, and for this, they got handsomely rewarded. So I started, okay, I said to my, to, you know, all right, let's, let's produce content like we would produce... Uh, normally for uh, the companies that we make, uh, you know, 
inspirational videos that they show on their kickoff, like the stuff we do for television when we make commercials that have a $50,000 budget because the cameras are like this and the crew to operate them are 70 people. But it's only 30 seconds of commercial that you get to see in the end. It still costs $50,000 to make. So I was just saying, okay, we can do this. We can make real content. Show, show the Steamians out there what real content should look like. So, so plagiarism, I can understand plagiarism is definitely not cool. That, that, that strikes me as clearly, unquestionably abusive and behavior that has to be, you know, uh, stopped. But flagging, n- nobody's really um, defined, you know, objectively or authoritatively what flagging is to be used for and not to be used for. So when someone says, oh, they flagged me wrong or you shouldn't flag this way, I kind of shrug at that because I think, well, there is no right or wrong way to flag yet. What, what do you say to that, uh, First Taken? Well, I, I think that you should use the flag if you see child pornography, if you see <laughs> that someone is posting the recipes from the dark web for making bombs. Uh, I think you should use the flag if you, if you, you know, if you are there to make posts, you know, that, that isn't PG-18, you know, that wouldn't be normal uh, behavior. You know, if, if you are a criminal uh, and and uh, already at the bottom of society, and you come on Steam it, and you post something gross that nobody should watch, or you post something that that uh, is for, you know, those kinds of reason. Yeah, that's a flag. That's what you use a flag for. It is like to report to, you know, to the, all the community. Hey guys. Here is something that uh, that shouldn't be shown on the internet at all. Okay, that's what the flag should that's, be used for. That's not the only purpose of a flag, though. A purpose of a flag is also to uh, counteract uh, voting that can be abusive, and also it, the purpose of a flag can also just be, you know, if you see a piece of content that you think is n- not necessarily. Uh, child porn or terrorism how tos, but just that it's being overvalued. You know, you can flag it to say, "Hey, this is being overvalued. We need to decrease its its rewards." Do you consider those legitimate uses of flagging too? Well, I am a really, uh, I, I, I'm a very giving person. I'm a, I'm a generous person. So for me to see that somebody's growing up and making a lot of money because because people like what they did. I don't think that there is anybody's business to say that they are making too much or, you know, I mean, that is the small mentality that we need to stop, uh, you know, agreeing with. (laughs) The whole world is poor because of that same type of thinking that people shouldn't get rewarded. You but know, that is that is part of the design of the system, though. And in fact, they, they even mentioned the whole bucket of crabs uh, mentality as, as something that they, they took into account that they wanted to make a part of the, uh, the platform, you know. Bucket of crabs mentality. Refresh me on that. Term. Oh, somebody has you read the white paper. <laughs> I, 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 I skimmed. I've certainly. Skimmed. So the idea is that if you put one crab in a bucket, um, it's going to be able to climb out. But if you put a second crab in there, then he's going to stop the first c- crab from climbing out. And you put a whole bunch in there, they're all going to stop each other from climbing out. Yeah, but we can talk about crabs all day long, but uh, I mean, we were talking about flagging hair. And- yes, my, yes, but uh, it's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. Uh, Shannon, it's a metaphor. I, I for the know, idea I know, that I some people, when you see someone having too much success, in your opinion, so... It's, it serves a double purpose here. On the one hand, it's what you're talking about, this negative thing where, you, where some people are envious and they want to pull down others. Yeah. At the same can, time, you, I mean, you can envy a society to death. You can envy the society that you live in until the point where the society is a non-producing one. Nobody's making money. Everybody hates everybody. Everything is stuck. You can't get out of this situation. <laughs> that, is, that is reality. That is reality. We have, a, we, have, we have made a lot of millions of dollars in crypto over these years. 
statement is just the last entry to a long, long line of successes. And if you want to come to, to um, terms with yourself, think of yourself as a rich person in the future instead of, of uh, thinking of yourself as a poor person forever. Um, pick up that book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It's sure, I've read that several times. Yeah, no, I know what you're talking about, Shettle. I know what you're talking about exactly, and we don't disagree. Uh, but my point is that uh, in the context of flagging, uh, it's, in the, it's designed into the system that, you know, it's, it's, in my opinion, totally legitimate to use flags to reduce other people's payouts when you think they're excessive. But what you're saying is you, you, you would consider that not a good use of flagging. Yeah, I think that a flag is a flag. And uh, there used to be another function that was downvote. But see, here is the thing. I'm not making content for my haters. If you go and look at every single one of my puppet shows, okay? Which are very cute and funny, by the way. <laughs> you are a delicious dash yourself. But listen, <laughs> I'm... I mean, every single one of those puppet shows comes with a budget. Right. So I spend $500 out of my own pocket every time I make one. It's an investment, right? You're investing because you hope you think that you might get a return from it. It's, it's, a, it's an investment yeah. because I am making content for my fans that mm -hmm. likes what I do. Mm. I'm not making content for the ones that don't like what I do, that don't enjoy what I'm making. That's, that's a All good right? point. That is a good uh, point. Uh, we did talk about before, like downvoting if you think somebody's making too much money, but in, you're, you're right. In this case, the, you're not making content for your haters. You're making content for the people you like and for the fans. And the, the haters, they don't, have to, they don't have to fucking watch your shit. They don't have to click on for Stickin's puppet show and be like, let exactly. me see a way to justify taking away money. You know, it, it's, it's kind of a waste of time. And uh, I guess back to that original point you were talking about in regards to growth mentality there in that, 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 uh, yeah, very small minded mentality. I can go out today and rent a theater and I have somebody sell tickets and I have it filled up on Saturday and I make more money playing three hours on that theater than I have made on steam it. So, I mean, I hear you guys. There's more money out there in the real world in entertainment and with real content. So if people think that we are making such enormous amounts of money on Steam, we are not. But we will in the future. And, uh, you know, if you come to my theater, you have to have the ticket. If you start heckling in my theater when I'm doing a show, you know, you, you, get, out. you get kicked out by the bouncers. That's, what, that's their job, you know. You are not supposed to be hackling in the theater. It's, it's just simple common rules. So I hear you guys. You feel like, you know, downvoting to reduce a payout is like, uh, it's bad faith. It's a, you it's know, like it's, a douche, yeah. douche, it's a douchebag move, you know. But the fact remains is that uh, there is a fixed pot of rewards each day on Steam, on the Steam network, you know. And if you can reduce someone else's uh, reward that, you know, you, may, you feel is excessive, uh, then you can you know increase your own reward if you also posted that day. Now you may think it's a it's a, a not a good move, but <clears throat> it's a legitimate part of the system. And you can't call, I don't think you can legitimately call it abuse because that's how the system was designed. You know. No, I I actually um so I mean yeah I I have that that eternal devil's advocate uh perspective and i i actually do uh cons i do agree with verstikin in that this uh this steam it and you know i've talked about it past on the show the ontology uh, the ontological design of steam it as people are being exposed to the system they're realizing that the old philosophies of the world that drove their decisions aren't the same things or aren't the same decisions that are going to be in their benefit on steam it so you know i guess back in the day um there were people there are industries that make money on heckling people and ruining others business and i guess the culture of steam it now is 
you're not going to ruin anybody's business quite the same way as you were in the past. If you, uh, as you know, the perfect example is actually between you and Heidi. You, uh, and George brought it up. You guys, uh, shit, I, shit. Shit All right, yeah. hey, let, 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 let me let me do the transition then. Okay, so uh, you know, so we can get into that topic. You know, oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. our second segment is about <laughs> what the heck happened with uh, Ad Heidi Travels in Peru. 